What is up, guys? I'm back with another video. I'm with my cousin. So, today is actually a couple of things I'm gonna do. So, first off, I bought a jack, some cheap jack there. Probably good, probably not. I'm gonna test that out real quick. And um, I bought spacers. Uh, 10 millimeter spaces for for all four rims but I just I just want to put it for the back and then we're actually gonna be um, talking about my cousin's car a BMW that he bought and like stuff that we're gonna do to it uh, future plans stuff like that he bought a crash crash that we're actually gonna make a list of all the parts that he needs later on today and I'll pretty much show you guys the the interior and all of that stuff which is pretty crazy because he was crashed but no airbags were deployed so from there he'll let you he'll let you guys know what his plans are for the car because i don't know so i'm actually just right here and let's go do this jacking shit man so like i said it's just a cheap one that I bought of O'Reilly's and I mean it honestly it looks it's a two-ton jack for four thousand pounds it looks usable I'm not gonna say great I'm not gonna say amazing I'm not gonna say none of that I'm just gonna say usable it's really good so I'm gonna open it up right now show you guys everything that comes with it and stuff like that like these with these bad boys now if you know about jacks you know that there are two and a half tons jack three and a half three ton jacks three and a half so on and so forth and they're actually like really good like um i think the daytona is one of the best jacks out there i saw one at the at the go auto performance place where they took my car and that's kind of the one that i want but it's in my honest opinion until i have a uh my own garage or anything like that i can't really have it because it's not really any place i could have it besides my room and i barely have room in my space as, as it is so i'm just gonna put this up so that's pretty much it. This is the instruction on how to jack it up. You, you pretty much know how, how to jack up. Now these, when I first bought one, I was trying to jack it without um without taking out like this little pot right here and unscrewing this part, and it wouldn't jack up. And I returned that shit because I was like, yo, this shit doesn't want to work. So to make this pretty much work, you have to See this this thing right here? You have to put it in in this little bracket right here, like this. Turn it, turn it like counterclockwise or whatever wise, and then it should work. I think I have to go the other way. Okay, that that must be off or on. There you go. Start jacking it up. Now this one says you lift the five to 13 inches, depending on what car you have. If you have a low car, you lift it pretty high. And then, you know, counter, counter clockwise to bring it down. Now let's try this on my car, cause that's what I'm always been curious about. All right, so Jack is on. I always put it on this, pretty much around there. Now time to jack it up. Let's see how good this jack is. Let's put my feet out of the way because not really. It's doing good so far. Jesus Christ, this jack is. Mmm. Oh.
Not really sure if I even like it like that. It moves a little bit, I don't like it, it's too shaky. I mean, above? I mean, it's a, I mean, it, it's lifting it up pretty good for for how much it costs, it's like 40 bucks, so it's pretty good. Now, let me show you guys the spacers. These are some off-brand, no-name spacers. And I have the, the longer screws and everything too. They're five by 112 to five by 100. So I think it fits BMWs too. But uh, I'm gonna actually put it just in the back. Shit, I forgot to like really show you guys how, you know, it's like, it's like right here is good. Like right here, it reaches good. But when you try to like look over here, it's like in. So I wanted to actually like just pop out just a little bit. You guys will see the difference when I do this one. So now this is the fun. Now when I put the 10 millimeter, it looks pretty much flush. Tire move, you're doing that on purpose. And this is right there with the tire. I find it better than this. Just like tucked in. You can see it like right there, it's tucked in. And when you look over here, boom, it's like sticking out right there. I'm not even gonna worry the one in the front. I'm not even putting the ones in the front. I'm just doing this one in the back. Yeah, you don't need the one. Because the ones in the, the front are pretty much right there. I like it. It's much better. 10 millimeter spacer right there. Tying it good. Now, to do the other side, which I should park my car somewhere in there and do it. So we made it to the shop that has my cousin's car and this is it. Right? It's the BMW 320i, 328i X Drive. It's nice, it's just a hit here. Um, Front end is where it got most of the damage though. You can see, I even think out that this, this is fine. We we still need to open this, it's, it's stuck in that side. I'm actually gonna take off the whole bumper now, see where it's stuck and try to, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure it's the latch, it's the latch. And um, it got hit pretty high, so not that bad. No, no airbags deployed, no check engine, no nothing. Pretty good condo red interior so this car looks really nice so we turned it on moved it from over there all the way over here and it started smoke it started smoking a little bit from like it like it was going into into the cabinet so i mean i'm pretty sure one of the, one of these things is rubbing it's not cooling but oh smoke it's, I think it's probably something in the engine when it's moving, it's rubbing off that and it's making a it burn. But I mean, it drives good. Managed to get the hood open by just cutting out this part because it was locked in there. Just did not want to come out. And um, so we figured out we need uh, just the radiator supports, uh, to uh, intercooler stuff, the bumper. We're gonna need this hose right here. And we're gonna also need this piece right here that broke off. Now, it, it seemed to be a whole piece of one, or like a one piece right here, so. By that, the uh, air, and the, it's pretty much it. And the lights, the lights, and the hood, obviously. And he should be good after that. The car does start and run fine, but it just started smoking. I'm assuming it's because it was because of that part right there. But once we replace that part, it should be fine. It drives good and everything. So right now we're actually waiting to see how much he's willing. He's gonna charge us to uh, fix up the front end and pretty much paint it the color. And 
you know, and then go buy the parts, bring it. Yeah. Hey, hombre. Boy, can I chilling, I'm chilling. Red interior. <laughs> Radiator support, the hood, um, both the radiator and the hoses, I think. Now, all we're missing is the front bumper, and we should be good. Mm -hmm. Instead of be painted. 